Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA. If you are listening to these week by week, it's probably been like waiting for Hunter Hunter, just random gaps. But if you are randomly tuning in, then it's a little bit of a better experience. Either way, we are keeping the spooky theme despite missing spooky month, but I think the theme is hot enough. There's actually some hidden episodes and lost episodes that I just didn't feel were good enough to make the cut. So we've had a little bit of a hiatus, but we will be back in full motion soon enough. This episode is an episode that we've been waiting for. I advertised it, but I haven't dropped it yet until now, mainly because of all the other things that have been happening. But that's OK. You guys don't need to hear that. You just want to hear episode right so we'll get back to it but this is just another reminder to those who are pursuing something that just because the road might be a little bit bumpy or sometimes you don't feel as motivated or let's say things are happening in your life and you get upset so it just kind of ruins your trajectory and everything it's okay you're going to get back into your focus and you're going to get to what you whatever you need to do so with that being said, this episode is going to be about not waking up at 5 a.m., why it's a mistake and you why you shouldn't really do it. But there's going to be highlights on why the case is. Also, recently, I don't know with the updates of the program that I'm using, it's really hard to get the volume right. So I've been trying to do these in different distances from my mic because it's like extra powerful or whatever so it wasn't like that before so please bear with me while I try to figure these things out but uh I did a episode about waking up at 5 a.m and why you should do it and I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't either way you could either do it or not right <laughs> there's two perspective to this uh making it more of a duality episode but Waking up at 5 a.m. was one of the best and worst things that happened to me. Uh, I'm going to talk about the bad things because the episode before was about the good things. Realistically, if you are not in that mindset or mind frame, it is a horrible idea, especially as you get older. You have to remember that we are creatures of habit. I work afternoon, so waking up at 5 a.m. and not getting enough sleep like, I have to sleep right away after work to get even a decent amount of sleep to wake up at 5 a.m. And it completely threw off my sleep cycles where I'd be sleeping here or I'd be taking a nap or I'd be getting tired in the middle of work. You need to mentally prepare and you have to make sure that it is the right decision for you. For me, it would have been better to do a 5 a.m. if I had a morning shift. So what I tended to do i change it to like 9 a.m right it's not as effective i guess in some people's eyes but if you're working afternoons it is just as effective it's just a mindset kind of thing you need to make sure that everything else in your life aligns to it you want to have the extra time waking up extra early but at the same time if it throws off your rhythm it's not going to be good for you and if you try to go back it's still not going to be good for you because it's going to take your body a while to get back into that rhythm. And it's funny because it's just like anything else in our life. When we do want change and we want to pursue something, it becomes really hard because you don't want to change. Your body doesn't want to change. Even maybe like, let's say your friends don't want to change. You have a new chapter, a new goal, a new mindset that you want to explore and you kind of want to have everybody exposed to it but it's something that's going to take time and you can't really force it and even if you do try to force it if it's a solo kind of thing like let's say you want to become vegan or you know you're getting ready for a marathon or you just want more sleep in general it's going to be easier starting with yourself but to get everybody else involved, it's going to be a bigger hassle, especially as you get older. 
Um, I have a story. I had a friend who wanted to do like a summer party this summer and he had a date and a lot of people were on board last minute. He canceled it because of personal reasons. And then afterwards he tried to reschedule it and it was very hard for everybody else to just jump back on board because having busy lives as you get older or busier lives, it's hard to get the time off or even focus on doing something when something's been canceled. It's kind of like a breach of trust or yeah, you could say you could keep it at just a breach of trust or just the comfort or the reliability right and that's another thing with the 5 a.m you have to be able to rely on yourself to get up you have to make sure that it's worth it for you so if you are preparing to do something like getting up at 5 a.m or going for a run at 5 a.m or in the morning or you know changing your diet to be like a vegan or let's say even doing fasting intermediate fasting or whatever It's something that you have to really put your mind into. You have to prepare for it mentally, and then you need to be consistent with it. All walks of life are difficult, right? Even if you want to be homeless and do nothing, it's a lot of work to be homeless. You know, you got to try to find food. You need to try to find shelter, and you have to hope that people are uh, empathetic enough to help you out if you really need the extra help. And even if it's a time of year, right? Being homeless might be a little bit easier in the summertime because it's warmer, but at the same time, all the bugs are out. So you're going to get bit up and all these other crazy stuff. I've never been homeless, so I don't know the full experience, but it's something you have to consider if you're on that path of life. I even have a friend who they, they live a completely different type of life. I did a podcast episode with them on IG, right? Which I still need to convert and put onto audio, right? But they live their life in a way where it's a lot more freeing, right? But when it comes to expenses and everything, they're more of an entrepreneur and they're living, I could say the best way to describe it is kind of like a hippie's life. So, you know, it's definitely interesting, but it obviously has its challenges just getting back on the topic waking up at 5 a.m it's a difficult task you know your body wants to have the same rhythm as whatever the sun is doing so someone who works nights they know that they need to get to sleep before the sun comes up because that's going to affect them right it's just like when you wake up at 5 a.m you're trying to wake up before the sun you're getting ready before the world does and it's kind of hard to get ready when not everybody else is getting ready too. you know, the birds might help you a little bit. um, And other things that make a bump in the morning, not a bump at the night, right? But it's still something that you have to transition into. All goals that are difficult, take time, they take discipline, and they take patience as well. So before you get up and think, hey, I'm just going to go and do this, like wake up at 5 a.m., run a marathon, run a half marathon, do a triathlon, you know, get a new job, uh, make new friends, get into a serious relationship, have kids, all of these random things. They're not really random, but all of these things that may seem okay or fun. It's a challenge. All right. And you have to mentally prepare yourself for something that you may have had or you want to pursue and just because your thought of it is a certain way doesn't mean that the reality of it is going to end up that way so be cautious of starting something new but don't let that stop you from starting something new so if you want to wake up at 5 a.m take a second thought and really think, hey, is this worth it? Anyways, now that this episode is finished, I know it's quite short, it's brief. It's funny, I think I probably should have did this episode before (laughs) the other episode. So what I'm going to do is, at least on the platforms that I don't 
regularly release, I'm going to make sure that I put this one first instead of the other one. So it'll be a little bit more motivating. Either way, this is a cautious motivation tale. The other version was, you know what, just get up and do it. Either way, guys, that's the reality of things. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and the new theme. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care.